joke. Oh, man. Well, the second season of CBS is Tough as Nails. Tough as Nails. Yeah. Tough as Nails. It's premiering tomorrow night. <laughs> the whole show is about Julissa Ortiz. She's now live in Roseville. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, it's, it's something, there's something else. I'm sorry. Yeah. She's live with a local woman who will be gracing your screens as a competitor on the show. Tough as nails. <laughs> yes, I could never be on this show, let me tell you, because I am definitely not tough as nails. <laughs> but let me tell you, she is. And Meryl Tangasol, good morning to you. Good morning. It Thank you. It is so great to see you, you guys. So she, you're going to talk to Phil later, and let me tell you, he tell he says her resume is extraordinary, and it really is, um, because you know you were in the Navy, you were in the Air Force, yes, yes and you flew what kind of aircraft? I've flown everything from helicopters to high altitude. My last aircraft was the U-2 spy plane. Um, did y'all did y'all hear that? The U-2 spy plane. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I believe in, in that interview you also said that there's only nine women that have flown this flight. You're the first black woman to do that. That's correct. First black woman to fly the aircraft. There's now ten. I believe we just hired another one. Yeah. So total air, uh, total pilots and all, probably about 1,100 yeah. in the 66 years that the aircraft has flown. I mean just incredible. You always knew that you wanted to do big things. And it is no surprise to me that they reached out to you to be a part of this CBS show, Tough as Nails. So talk a little bit about what it was like to be part of, because you already shot it, right? And I know you can't tell us a whole lot, so we won't, we won't ask those questions. If I tell you, I'll kill you. I'll yeah. kill you. And, and she really I'm like, will. Oh, God. Right, right. We don't want those problems. <laughs> what was, what, were you a fan of the show, and what was it like to actually be on that show? So when I got, when they reached out to me, I started looking at the show and immediately I fell in love with it. Yeah. I saw all these great people, 12 people with some great stories. Yeah. And I was like, I have a great story. Yeah. And they were doing these challenges and overcoming maybe some personal obstacles. I'm like, I'm all about this. Yes. I'm down. Let's do it. Yes. When can I come out? So oh my gosh. I was excited. So it goes through, if you, if you haven't seen the show, it really is a great show where you go through these pretty incredible challenges, right, that really test your strength and endurance. Oh, absolutely. Um, they had something out there already about the first challenge yeah. when we're breaking rocks. So um, taking a sledgehammer and getting at it, um, I was like, this is not an aircraft, but I'm about to do this. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I was just asking you about Phil. I'm a huge fan of him. You said he's a pretty incredible dude and also very competitive. He is. I mean, Phil, what you see is what you get and yeah. more. I mean, he he is just this caring guy who, you know, from day one said he's going to take care of us. He's going to look out for us and make sure our stories get out. And he has delivered on all of that. He is highly, highly competitive. <laughs> highly competitive. <laughs> so, you know, one time we're between takes and he's, you know, doing some push ups and yes. smiling. Oh, my God. Um, and his wife, Louise, is another. She is a, you know, she is a beast when it comes to wall sits. Um, <laughs> it was a time oh she gosh. did about 20 minute wall sit. And I think she's broken that record already. Oh so, my gosh. they're both. I can see why they're together, I but it. it was great, you know, just to get to know Phil and get to know a little bit more about him being raised and growing up. Yeah. And he also is quite a fan of your dance moves. Uh, he is. He's got some of his own. <laughs> he, could, he could do some. He, he's got some decent dance moves, too. He could do a great funky chicken. Oh, yes. oh so I feel like y'all need to ask him about that. All okay, right. so I, 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 she did. She told me that she was one of the things that he saw on your Instagram was your dancing with Lizzo. So of course, her and I are going to do some dance moves. Okay, okay. Um, that will hopefully be featured in our Friday dance party. Okay, so we'll share that. With <laughs> Right, right now. <laughs> um, but said? also, again, the show premieres tomorrow yes. on CBS, so you want to be sure to tune in and please, cheer her on. Please yes. share yes. with Meryl oh, right now. Can you do that again? Can you? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Good, <laughs> great. <laughs> Did you get your tickets to the gun show? Felicia. That's, I, we need tickets to the gun Yes, yes, you can. Please, please share with Meryl yes. that I have worn the U2 flight suit and tell her it took three people to get me out of it because I got stuck in it. <laughs> He has worn the U2 flight suit and it took three people to get him out of it because he got stuck. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a skill that you, it takes some time to takes learn. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So I love it. Amazing. I love it. Oh, my gosh. She's so awesome. She is amazing. All right. So I got your number. So she's locked in. We're going to follow her. I love it. Yes. <laughs> We're going to awesome. follow her Excellent. along this show. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, Okay, Zim. I'll send it back over to you. And you'll talk to Phil a little bit later yes, on Yes, I will. Excellent. I'll ask him about the dance. All right.